Tonight, an HOA Hall of Shame story. It all started with a man's fight and ended in the Nevada Supreme Court. Now, the story proves you can fight your homeowners association and win, but at what cost? Good evening, everyone. I'm Todd Quinones. And I'm Trisha Keen. 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears exposes the downside of a David and Goliath battle and why the homeowner says he wouldn't have it any other way. You fought hard for what was right, for truth, justice, and the American way. <laughs> Alongside the American flag and patriotic bunting, a banner unfurls across the roof line of Jonathan Friedrich's home. Somebody finally has to stand up against these HOAs. The banner proclaiming the Rancho Bel Air HOA is guilty of fraud proves Friedrich is not one to shy away from a fight. When you're right, you're right. It's that simple. In addition to the banner, there are a couple of other new residents in Jonathan Friedrich's front yard. These pink birds. The pink flamingo is an iconic anti HOA symbol. Friedrich's battle to prove he's not part of the guard gated HOA he lives in has lasted nearly six years and cost him more than $300,000. It's outrageous. This was a simple dispute. Are you or aren't you? in the HOA. From dollars to donuts, his stories got both. Here's how we explained it when we first covered it in 2016. This is a donut hole, but so are Jonathan Friedrich and his home, according to court documents. That makes the HOA, the donut, and the hole simply isn't part of it. Within Rancho Bel Air, there's a dividing line, one Friedrich literally painted down the middle of his street at his property line. The community is made up of two units developed at different times, and Friedrich followed a decades-old paper trail to find proof that homeowners like him in Unit 1 were never officially part of the HOA. The documents proved I was right. But he didn't know it at first because the developer for Unit 2 sent all homeowners a letter telling them they were part of the HOA. Friedrich paid in good faith until he found out the letter wasn't official. They lied to me at my closing. My title company screwed me. I paid for them to protect me. They did anything but. When he stopped paying the $200 monthly assessments, they sent him a foreclosure notice. They said, if you don't pay our assessments, we're going to foreclose on you. And he said, basically, in a pig's eye. He took the case to trial and won, but the HOA appealed to the state Supreme Court. That they get a God complex, that everybody has to do exactly what they say, no matter what. We are not one of the um, Gestapo associations that you read about. That was Unit 2 developer and HOA board member Barry Becker in 2016. When reached over the phone for this story, he said he had nothing new to add on the Supreme Court ruling. He bought into a guard protected community and now he wants someone else to pay for his share of that. But the Supreme Court agreed with the trial jury that Friedrich did not have to pay and that the HOA committed fraud by negligent misrepresentation when they collected dues from him. I was right, they were wrong, and they tried to steamroll over me, and it's just not going to happen. The amount of money that you spend, I imagine, would far exceed any HOA dues that you would have had to pay all along, yes? Way beyond it. but. If you know somebody is stealing from you. That's how he saw it and he couldn't let it happen, no matter the cost. The costs are still rising as Friedrich is still fighting to get the HOA to pay him an original jury award of $15,000, plus more than $320,000 in attorney's fees and costs. The money matter is set to be heard in court at the end of this month. Darcy Spears, 13, investigates.